this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Don't know how to make a website? Well, now you can with Squarespace. Before we get into today's video, I want to um, mentally prepare y'all for my new hairstyle. Just, just watch this clip. I gotta get rid of it. I hate it. Yeah! Oh, he uh, bought pots. Like, that's too <laughs> shit. Why is it warm? Uh, tell me I don't okay. look like- And that's what you're missing if you don't follow me on Twitch when I do stream. <laughs> anyway, so in today's video, I am going to be designing tattoos to give myself. That's right, I kind of want to get a tattoo. So let's goof around, design some tattoos for myself, and maybe, maybe I'll get inspiration for a real tattoo. Let's start off with a tummy tattoo, why not? So you're gonna see this as a very common theme today. I I've really got worm tattoo on the mind. What if, what if, what if I just had a bunch of worms coming out of my sleeves, wrapping around my, my arms? Just worm, I'm, I'm worms. Wrapping around every, oh that's, okay, well this isn't the actual one, but what if, that's horrifying. Anyways. I feel like having something wrap around would be pretty cute. I haven't really thought this far ahead because this tattoo isn't something I'm seriously thinking about. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. If I'm gonna have tattoos, they're probably gonna be goofy and playing around with the body parts. See, I already wanted just worms coming out of my shirt and my sleeves like I was made out of worms. I feel like if I, if I get tattoos, at least to start, I want them to sort of like interact and have a reason for being where they are, I suppose. If that makes any sense. I think I'm a super fan of color, so I think most of my tattoos would probably be black and white. Maybe a splash of color here and there, but... Oh, like a red tongue on this guy? Definitely going to need to give this guy just a few textures uh, for the scales. I think just like how I like my art, I would like my tattoos to be a little bit more on the simple side. See, now that I see that, I'm like, yeah, okay. That's kind of cute. Just a little snake guy hanging out with me all the time. <laughs> oh no, I just got a really bad idea, but I do feel like I need to put it down here just, just to get it out of my brain. Worms, right? Worms? Oh God, I am so, or ghost. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, wait, I was gonna make it worms, but maybe it should be ghosts. Ghosts flying out of my belly button. That is horrible and awful. Can you imagine you're like dating someone and they take off their shirt to reveal ghosts flying out of their belly button? What died in there? <laughs> this is the worst. This is horrible. This is awful. Awfully funny. I'm begging you, don't let this happen, please. And we're just gonna blur this guy a little bit because it's too crisp to be a tattoo. And then drop the opacity a little bit so it looks less fake. I mean, that doesn't look real, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. What can I say? I think this one's done. So for this tattoo, I wanted there to be ways to show off my shoulders if I were to ever have a shoulder tattoo. So, oh, actually I just got an idea. No, not worms. No worms for this one. I actually don't really feel inspired for worms on this one. What, like a worm necklace? Ew. Because my hand is in the photo, I have an idea. Now, I need a path around my arm, <laughs> up, my sleeve will go around on the back of my neck and then back around my shoulder. You know what? Bonus, let's go around the neck. <laughs> let's also go around the neck and then we're also gonna go uh, around the arms. I feel like designing these tattoos is the exact way I design tattoos in my drawings. <laughs> I don't know anything about tattoos. Oh my God, I drew in the photo. Oh God. And I just do silly stuff that Visually is fun to create, but maybe doesn't quite work in um, in practice, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so this is our path, and our path for what, you may ask? Well, we have to do something ant related, right? You know we have to do something ant related. Now, I'm not going to do my usual 
standing ant, you know, my little guy that's like this, hey, I'm an ant, look at me, people think I look like a bunny. I'm not gonna do that, guy, it's just a little too complicated. I think doing real ants would be silly and cute. Maybe going all the way up to my finger. Now, I don't know what making a tattoo like this would be like for the tattoo artist. Is this absolute agony? Or is it simple and, and fun? I don't know. I don't know anything about making tattoos or getting tattooed. Oh, this would be creepy. I feel like if I had a tattoo like this, I would constantly, at least for the first while of having the tattoo, I would be super paranoid that every time in the side of my eye, like my peripheral vision, I would think I saw a bug on me. Oh gosh. I kind of like it, but I kind of, hate it. Yeah, so far I, I hate it and love it. I don't know. I'm also trying to draw them as if they're on my arm a little bit slanted, like a perspective. Don't know if that's working, but I'm trying. One thing I do want to make sure is that the ants aren't super exactly the length from each other as the previous ant. I want there to be variation. Maybe the ants are next to each other sometimes. Sometimes they're closer. Sometimes they're farther apart. You know, you don't, you don't want it to look too mechanical. At least I don't. All right, we are we're making good progress. This is, you know, I, on one hand, I'm like, oh, these tattoos have got to have been done before. On the other hand, I'm too scared to Google it and, and see that it exists and how bad it looks. Now, if I were seriously going to get this sort of tattoo, I would definitely do a little research, see if someone's gotten it, see if it looks good. Now the neck part is definitely going to be weird. I'm not one to wear it all in necklaces. Sometimes I try, but in the end, I definitely don't wear a lot of jewelry or a lot of accessories. A choker is something that I think would be really cool to sometimes wear, but again, I just, I know if I bought one, I would forget to wear it. I would never use it. And what better fix than to permanently tattoo a choker of ants around my neck? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, crawling out of the dress here. And I'm also realizing that if this were to be a real tattoo, gosh, I would also have to have a path under where the shirts go and the, the other clothes and pants and things that you normally wear. Okay, oh, this is horrifying actually. And that's why we're here to make horrifyingly bad art. Okay, I think, wow, let's get rid of our path. And <laughs> this looks like some, some hippie jewelry gone wrong. I'll be honest. I hate it. No, I, I don't hate it. I think I think maybe like a wrap around the arm or something could be cute, but going all over my body and around my neck and just everywhere, just all over my body ants, it's creepy and I don't I don't know that I I would be down for that. But as a photo, uh, it was it was fun to work on. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Before we design any more of these wacky tattoos, let's thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Here's the thing about Squarespace. Raise your hand if you know how to make a website. I can't see any of your hands, but I'm kind of curious if some of you did. Anyways, if you're like me and don't know how to make a website, now you can easily with Squarespace. Pick your favorite template, edit it to your desire. And just like me, you'll have a cute, sleek, clean, refreshing gallery for your artwork to speak for itself. You can also run your very own shop, print on demand, post blogs. Whatever it is you're trying to share with the world, I bet you Squarespace can help. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Casey Golden to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring my videos once again. Moving on to, ah uh, yes, the classic arm. So for this particular outfit, I actually put this together in inspiration for the tattoo I was actually going to design on myself. This tattoo is actually a tattoo that I've been thinking about getting. Basically, I just want there to be a tangle of worms. Y'all know how I draw worms. I'm very obsessed with worms, worms and grass. Lately, I've been drawing worms in space. This looks horrible. But basically, I thought it would be really cool to design a tattoo of worms that sort of 
crawls down my arm and down to my hand, I suppose? That looks, that looks like a good size. All right, we gotta get them wrapped around my elbow. I love how many times it's taken me to draw this. Many attempts, oh my goodness, it just keeps getting worse. Truly, it just, it just keeps getting worse. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so many times. Wait, was this the one? Let's just make a small adjustment. Okay, I'm going to accept this one as the one. All right, and is it going to go down? Oh my gosh, onto my finger? Okay, he's just hanging out with me, you know? He's just my little buddy, just coming to say hi. I really want to see what it would look like if maybe there was a worm on the other side of my arm that was in the crease of my arm, so it's coming out here. <laughs> it, it, oh my gosh. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, yeah? Okay, so admittedly, this is actually a lot more worms than I was thinking for my own personal tattoo. I think if I do want to do one, I'll stick to the upper arm. And if I want to add more arms, I mean worms later, then I can. Unfortunately, I am stuck with my one arm, so I can only add worms, not arms. I think for now, I'm going to keep these worms in particular just black outlines. I think when I get my tattoo in real life, I would just make them outlines, but it might be fun to sprinkle in, I don't know, a colored worm here or there just to keep things mostly black and white, but then just to have like a little splash of color here and there. Oh, I don't know. I could put shapes behind them too. Let's try that. Like say, maybe I could have a red triangle. I feel like this is definitely something I do in my art a lot. I'll do like a red triangle, a yellow circle, and they meet together and make orange in between. I can see myself having a tattoo like that. Here, let's do it. We'll do a yellow circle, a blue square, and where they intersect, I will make that green. All right, a little bright. Oh my gosh, it matches so well with the outfit. Okay, I think I do want a few more worms here, so let's keep adding a few more worms. The question is though, do I look diseased? Maybe, maybe not. Honestly, I just really like to draw worms and I think they're fun and I think they're just, they make a nice little fun thing to look at. If anyone asks me if my tattoo has a meaning, I'll just tell them, uh, one day we'll all be dead with worms crawling on us. Okay, I kind of look like a weirdo that has combined herself into the clothes, but you know what? It's an interesting look. We're experimenting, we're seeing what we like and what we don't like. Look, I'll be honest, the first thing I want to do with this is... This is not going to be good. Look, this is just a goof. I need to get this out of my system and then I will do a serious... <laughs> A serious leg tattoo. We want permanence. We want people to always think I'm bleeding out of my crotch. And if I do bleed out of my crotch, you'll never know because I'm always bleeding out of my crotch. Yep. I do not have a single doubt in my mind that there is someone out there that does not have this tattoo. I know someone's got this tattoo. That would be bizarre just walking around like that all the time. Is it bad that I don't hate it? Oh no, okay. Oh, but now I'm thinking like, what if I had worms coming out of my crotch? What if I was just a big skin bag full of worms and I just had worms coming out of my sleeves and my neck and my crotch at all times? What if I was just a freak? It looks like I'm pooping out worms. Just pooping out worms. Oh, but what if there was just a little worm coming out of my sock? I'm not ashamed to admit that I just want to put worms all over my body. Won't someone just put worms all over my body? Things coming out of my socks, you say? What if I had a big cactus coming out of my sock? All right, over my lumpy knee. Let's get comments from everyone. Uh, do you have a lumpy knee? Let me know in the comments. Team, team lumpy knee. What is that? What's the thing? It's like a meme where it looks like a baby is escaping out of your kneecap. Like <laughs> It looks like a baby head. Yeah, that's me. Also, I was trying to make this a straight cactus, but like my, my legs are bent and it just looks, it looks not straight. Huh. Now the question is, who remembers those cactus sort of like maze drawings I used to make? Is that how crazy I'm gonna get with this guy? Is it gonna go around my leg? I, I ask as I 
do it. Y'all see the baby face? Eyes, like a nose, like the baby head. I mean, it's a creepy baby, but <laughs> there's a baby in my knee. Of course, that's also my weird knee because of the surgery, but look, I always had weird knees. I'll admit that. I'll admit it. Look, the knee is just, the knee is just really lumpy and it's messing with me. This is a hot mess. Now, let me, let me remind you guys that I'm not actually serious about most of these. I'm just sort of having fun putting things on my pictures. Maybe I'll like one, maybe I won't. Probably not this one. Oh, look, it, it doubles. Wait. Does my hairy leg double as the spikes on the cactus? Or does this look like I'm just drawing my fake hairy legs on my legs and there just happens to be a cactus there? So this is a bright green. I'm definitely going to have to... We're gonna have to edit that color. That's a, that's a lot, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, look, I know there could definitely be some shading added, but um, that's an awful tattoo. Don't ever, don't let me get that. Just don't, wow, don't, don't, wow. Way to end on whatever that is. <laughs> little worm, little worm friend? Yeah, honestly, maybe. I can have a little worm friend. If you're wondering what he would look like under the sock, I'd probably just have him like vibing, you know? Uh, cute peeking out. Cactus, uh, I, I, I could go without, I could go without. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to see my face any more than y'all do, but I thought it'd be really funny to goof around and do a face tattoo and some finger tattoos. So I did this ooh woo meow cat, meow cat pose. So let's just goof around this time and um, see what sort of, oh my God. So definitely need to put meow on my fingers. Yeah, meow. Life, meow life. Now, emphasis on this is just me goofing around. <laughs> this is definitely not something I'm considering. You know I've got like paw pads on my actual hands, like a big circle, and then like on my each finger is like, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know that's on the other side of my hand. You can't see that. We need whiskers like Naruto, I suppose. Oh my God, someone out there has Naruto whiskers tattooed on their face, I just know it. Do we get a cat nose on my nose tattooed? I mean, obviously, right? Oh my God, a worm coming out of my ear. Ew! That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh, we've got to get the like, the cat like, oh geez. Maybe I will, maybe this isn't a joke. Maybe I actually do want this as a tattoo. <laughs> oh, the, the in-between lip little line that is terrifying me and i don't like it okay that is gonna be that thank you guys so much for watching today's video maybe i'll turn these into a tattoo i think i want to keep developing some of these ideas and seriously approach it and of course, a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video once again, Squarespace. Make yourself a website, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.